Hi, I'm Matt Lincoln, the Engineering Manager for JSTOR Labs, and today I'm going to talk about some of the visualizations that Constellate offers to understand what is showing up in my search results, especially since in text and data analysis, we're often working with hundreds or thousands of documents at once. I used to study art history, so let's say I want to search for documents that mention the Dutch painter Vermeer. I go to the dataset builder and I enter my search term in the keyword field. And I'm going to start my search further back in time to some of the earliest publications in Constellate. I'll also scroll down to make sure that I'm limiting my search to articles that are classified as art history. That way we can minimize getting documents mentioning other people named Vermeer. I see that visualizations on my screen immediately update to match my new search results. I can see in our first visual, looking at documents over time, that there's an explosion of available documents in the late 20th century, compared to just a few earlier on. When I mouse over an individual bar, I get to see an exact count of documents in Constellate published in that decade that match my search result. But let's say I want to understand a bit more about what these documents talk about. When I scroll down, I can see a visualization of significant terms that show up in these documents. These are terms that show up more frequently in these documents than show up at random across the millions of other documents in Constellate. I can click on an individual term to get a mini visualization of how that term has been used over time. For example, I can see that documents matching my search almost always mention the word painting or paintings. This is maybe not surprising when we're searching for Vermeer. But if I click on the term Rembrandt up here, this is the name of another famous Dutch Golden Age painter. I see that more recent documents matching our search for Vermeer tend to mention Rembrandt less than those documents in the early 19th and 20th century. This might lead me as a researcher to come up with new questions about how art critics and art historians way of connecting the two artists has evolved over the past 150 years. And that might also spark me to dive deeper into individual documents and ask new questions. Make sure to watch my next video about Constellate's data visualizations that will help us ask deeper questions about what's showing up in our search results.